Jail it is, boys. Let's Next. talk about Andy Earl's Fury Fighter. Fury Fighter, yeah. Yeah, so uh, in April, April Andy Earl Industries co-founder Palmer Lucky. What a name. I know, He's, man. <laughs> he showed up in flip-flop shorts and his Hawaiian t-shirt with a and mullet and a goatee. Yeah. He uh, always wanted a mullet, and now he's got one. But then they, why are we talking? Is this the article? Yeah, dude, it, it gets <laughs> it, it, it gets better. It, gets it better. has to get better. It's impossible to get worse. No, it gets better. They talked about the Fury. It's a collaborative combat aircraft designed to work in coordination with a manned aircraft. They uh, work with General Atomics, develop and test CCAs. It could become the, uh, they are actually. They just announced this is did you did you get an old article? No, dude, they just so 60 Minutes just did a thing on, on oh, this thing. Well, I they just it. announced the X whatever. Who? Andre? Yeah. So this is their uh this is their CCA, right? So it's unmanned fighter and it uses AI and drone technology. And this is like when Trump was talking about the upgrades to current fighters, I think this is part of the Right. This is going to be part of the new some of the new capability being able to, you know, uh, upgraded F-35s and F-22s being able to work with fighters like the Fury, you know, unmanned. Yeah, there he is. It's, what it, are we watching right now? That's the that's the Fury. Brian Shimp is the CEO and co-founder of Andrew, and he showed us Fury, their unmanned aircraft. Why F-244? That allowed to see Fury. And it's a Viper and they took the This has been a super of. secret project for them. We weren't allowed to say where we saw it oh, we're gonna get where it's here. been built. Okay. Nope, but we nope, 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 nope. Right. So anyway, Dude. collaborative combat aircraft is now moving forward, and that's who got it. It's funny because Andrew will... Are, is doing anti-drone tech too yeah so they're on both sides of this for because last week we talked about their anti-drone stuff and this week we're talking about their new drone dude that plane yeah. literally looked like an f-16 that ai took the cockpit off of and it was a rendering like, well that's real yeah so i watched the 60 minute clip on it which is pretty cool man so they the way they designed it they made it to where there's nothing like super high like each individual part's not super high tech so like like the example they use is the landing gear they're like it's super simple you could make it in any machine shop in the united states right so they took you know simple is better route which i can appreciate which probably would expedite things because complex things seem not not to work so well and then they were asking them a little bit and this is you know this has been my fear as far as ai technology and drone technology and you know uh palmer lucky he brought up a good point in that extremely powerful weapons now they can't discern between like a school bus full of kids or military target but if you have ai technology in a drone it can right so it's not always doom and gloom which that was a, a bit of a different perspective because when i think of like you know uh, ai and drones i think of literally like the t-1000 <laughs> yeah coming after you this. correct seen this movie it doesn't end well yeah, and like, it's funny. He, he he did say he's like you know, in every single one of these things, there's an off switch. But I, oh. I think they, I think in a panic, they tried to pull the plug and it didn't work, right? So, um, but you know, his case for the he's Fury, his case for the Fury as a fighter pilot, I appreciate it. You know, he's he said, you know, these will be out in front of the man fighters. Like, they're, it's not the Fury's not designed to take the place of a man fighter. Is designed to enhance the lethality of man fighters and tactics that we haven't even developed yet. But you know, his idea was these things would go out in front of man fighters and maybe do like a pre depending on whatever whatever the mission is. You know, kind of uh, they're bullet a, sponges. That's what they are. Potentially, man, or you know, hey, uh, you know, fle flesh out whatever uh, you know whatever tactic the bad guys were trying to use against you. You know, so you can so you can fight it. But I mean, I, I think. I mean, we've talked about it in the past. I think it's the future. And I, again, I, I think that the upgrades that our current fifth gen fighters and stuff are going to get in these new F-47, 55, whatever. I think this is part of what's going to make them gen 5.5 and 6 is the ability to use things like the Fury. You're going to quarterback. You're going to be the, the digital quarterback of all the little minions. And yeah. <clears throat> send them yeah. down range to go do do the, do the work i mean yeah and he, he kind of used that analogy he's, he's like you know now you got one pilot you know he can control you know his airplane maybe a couple of the airplanes but what if that one highly trained skilled pilot could control 20 30 airplanes right it's a force multiplier so 
they didn't say he didn't say how much it was going to cost. But why don't we focus on getting that one highly skilled pilot first? Like, why don't we go back to basics on this and well, focus that, on that? That's in the cards. We're not too. even doing that right now. We're cutting training. We're cutting. Well, we're not cutting funding, but we've been cutting training. Like, let's focus on that, right? Like, let's not worry about. I mean. Did you remember in a very basic F-18 Charlie how busy you were? Like, just take any mission set, dropping a JDAM. Like, remember how busy it was to drop a JDAM in any amount of time? Okay. So, now, I believe that generations past ours have gotten smarter. They're more tech savvy. I'll buy all that, right? So, we'll give them a little bit of a multiplier there. But you're going to go from that amount of workload to now putting them in an F-35 or an F whatever, 163,000 or whatever the hell we name the next damn fighter. And they're going to be in charge of 30 aircraft, like 30 aircraft. Like, come no, on, dude. Like, on that, it might be, it's probably going to be like guys like you and the E2 in the back, just like, yeah, like, I've seen those guys them, and they're, them, they're freaking them. amazing. And you know what? If you made them do it, it's going to be task saturated. That's my point is it's like focus on the basics. Like, I feel like we've lost the fundamentals and the foundation and we're trying to go and get this like amazing idea. You said it. Now, you may have said it by accident or maybe you meant it on purpose, but like like they're developing technology for tactics we don't even have. And it's like, how about we focus on technology for the tactics we do have that we can actually do instead of worrying about tactics we don't even know yet. It's like, slow your roll, man. Like, like you could have the coolest tech in the world, but if they could sneak in your back door and take you out, it doesn't freaking matter. So it's like, I feel like these tech people and I'm not, look, I don't, I'm not knocking tech. Like I like gadgets and things like that, but I feel like they're in this, like, well, we could do this scientific and I watched this movie and now I got this cool haircut and goatee and I really wanted to make, and it's like, whoa, 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 dude. Like, have you ever been in war? Have you ever fought? Like, have you actually been there in a, in a combat environment where like your, your brain matter is mush because you're trying to get everything right. And now you're building tech that's going to allow me to do more like, dude, like I, well, there's a level, there's a point of diminishing returns on that. And when you get to a point where you're expecting a pilot or a group of people in the E2 or whatever to control 30 of these aircraft, it's like, that's a slippery slope, man, where it's like, we need to focus on training our aviators where we're at today and then expanding from there. That, that's well, just my take. I wholeheartedly agree with you, but as I am painfully learning, <laughs> for example, the boat, you know, they no more, you know, the future T-45 trainer doesn't even need to do FCLPs. And it's, you know, I've, I've spoken to fleet guys and they're like, yeah, landing on the boat's not a thing anymore. Like, cause it's the technology that never fails, right. Uh, makes it much easier. And like mover and I did a, Who's making that software mover they put in the F-16 to make the, you know, make make their uh, flight controls much smoother? Oh, Lockheed. So, you know, yeah, we're Lockheed, yeah. Yeah, whatever flight control AI software that thing would learn and, like, smooth out your flight control so you could, like, more easily gun people. That's what you want to do. Um, so I agree with you 100% on that, but uh, it is becoming painfully aware to me that uh, things are, are rapidly, rapidly changing and, you know, um, it's exciting and scary <laughs> the future. Well, it's scary because dude in combat stuff goes backwards, right? Yeah. I mean, so you could say like landing on a boat is not even a thing anymore. And you're like, wow, man, I remember when I was in, like that was the thing. But when I was in getting shot down on final, wasn't a thing because technology <laughs> wouldn't have allowed it. The people that were operating, it wouldn't have allowed it. Right. So here's my point here is now we've bridged this gap and it's like, oh yeah, dude, I just put the thing on the thing and land. <laughs> Or I go into a guns D because they're shooting missiles at me because some guy has technology that makes things better. You see my point? So it's like you always need yeah. those fundamentals, the blocking and tackling, the going back to the basics. You can't lose that because eventually you will be back there. And I can speak more. And, and I, as much as I give the Air Force a hard time on this, you guys deploy to some pretty egregious environments. So it applies the same. But like you take a Navy squadron and you put them on a steel ship in a salt environment, in rough seas, like, I don't care how good you make it, it's going to break. You need fail safes on these things. And to think that we could just keep going lightning speed and come up with like, oh, well, the next thing is the guy in the suit, the tanker overhead is going to be able to control the whole battle group. And it's like, do they had a hard time doing fuel calculations when I was in the fleet? Like, what has happened to where like, 
look, I'm not knocking the technology. We just have to be careful to not be so reliant on it because if it goes away, now you just have 30 flying pieces of FOD out there. And then it's dude. like, well, does it come back on us? Now we can't tell. I mean, dude, a couple months ago, we couldn't tell who the Super Hornet was that had just tanked and came back to the ship. So how in the hell are we going to control 30 of these unmanned aircraft that we send out being controlled by some Wizzo in the back of a super fat F-35 two-seater, right? I mean, dude, it's like, come Trump on, said man. nothing like, about two-seaters. He said you heard nothing. It. He said you two heard engines, it here not first. two seats. You heard it here first. Two engines, two seats. I mean, <laughs> three seats. Why not? Three, Just three. make them three. Three. They could sit, I mean, it, it could be like a Vic pilot and then two sitting side by side behind him. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I I'm do. saying is it's I, like there is I some agree. fundamentals we need to work on. And yeah. I do think we have to move forward with things, but I also think we have to be very careful because mm -hmm. we're, we're, it's real easy to always be looking for the next thing. It's real easy. I mean, I have friends that have done it, right? It's like, what's the next thing in life? Oh, I can't wait. And it's like, they never enjoyed what they have. And with tactics and things, it's like, dude, you, look, you got to be like, we need to be the best at what we can do today. Are we there right now? No, I promise you we're not. So we need to focus on that. Do we also need to focus on the tech of the future? Of course we do. But if we can't even launch the planes or not shoot them down when they're trying to land, like, does it really matter what tech we have? That's That's what I'm concerned about. Well, Plus, the dude's think? got a mullet, which is dope, but I don't need a mullet dude building my tech for, like, uh, dude, a mullet guy, like, I want to be drinking some beers with, not having him develop my future <laughs> fighter that I'm going to have to control 30 of while he's cashing in on the contract he got. That's the other thing.